It's always like your birthday with a package from China, so let's go. <laughs> hmm. I think it's broken, or maybe not. Nevertheless, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the super mini HD game box, the home entertainment system. Yep. It comes with support 2.4G wireless gamepad. Nevertheless, I love these, these weird names. Like it comes with 8-bit and 6-bit games. So I'm more exciting about the 16-bit. I've seen so many of this 8-bit stuff. So it comes with classic games, Connect TV, and most important, the professional game chip, yeah. So another thing they also like to say is the 4K Ultra HD game stick. Yeah, the 4K stuff, that is the new thing that they're like basically pointing on. That's nothing to do with, let's say, ah, 4K, yeah. All right, so 100% brand new and high quality guaranteed. <laughs> All right. Plug and play, no extra drivers needed. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you need, so this is quite confusing, you know? You would say like, do you need to plug in an NPC? No, this is just like some weird nonsense, or you don't need to configure the controls. Use TF card to extend the games. For NES Mega Drive Classic Edition, use 1080p HD output. Okay, so I hear already had like some things that's loose on the inside, so let's take a close look on the inside, because yeah, okay, there's not much in here. So let's see what we do get and micro USB because these things are like dongles and <laughs> this thing looks like a freaking car, like like a car remote, like <laughs> oh, I must say like they are creative, they're absolutely creative, like this thing is so huge, I don't know if it's going to be even fitting in my freaking television, so I, there is no extension cable so I need to get myself another one from my storage. So the controller, so the first thing I need to do is the smell test. Oh, they smell not chemical. Oh man, the controls are like really garbage. Like the D-pad feels really loose. Maybe I can even pull it out. Yeah, you see, that's the thing. Okay, I can even pull it out. Let's see, this one also feels very, very bad. I'm, re I'm really curious if this rewind, bot rewind button seems to be working. We have the menu, the start, like the start is kind of weird, but okay. So we have ABA, the ABC buttons are just normal, like they feel really cheap, you can hear it. And of course we're having the other one, the X, Y, Z, and they are like the smaller one. So the concept about it is it's quite interesting, they do have a six button controller. Okay, two AAA batteries need to be going in, that's what we're going to do. We're going to plug it in the television and let's see what are we going to get. You know that I really hate when they use like a screw for the cover. Yeah, this is the case that they needed to do that because this is so loose, it doesn't even click. Like that's how quality it is. High quality, my ass. Okay, so let's take a close look at the menu itself. Uh, what are we going to get? So we do get like the same menu. It runs on kind of a Linux or Android version these sticks, but that's something we was maybe seeing the teardown. We do have action, shoot, sports, fighting, racing, puzzle, and 16-bit. So I'm guessing these six are basically like the 8-bit and these are like of the 16-bit stuff. Do have the TF card solution over here. So I think that's pretty cool. So let's boot it up. Let's see what happens if we're just going to boot it up. There's no SD card whatsoever in here. Yeah, nothing better goes back to the main menu. Let's choose an action game. So here you can see like absolutely 8-bit games. The same goes with fighting. So we're going to try out some couple of 8-bit games and then we do have like the 16-bit and oh yeah, there are only like 20 of them. So... <sighs> It's kind of deceiving, like they slept this thing full of 8-bit games, but there are only a couple of 16-bit, yeah. Oh, let's try some 8-bit first. Okay, the first thing I can tell you is like, they have a kind of a filter over it. You can see like, there's not pixelated like it as normally is. Can we rewind? Okay. And pressing the menu button, go back to the menu. Okay, so that's basically what we can do. All right, so let's see what we can do with this. All right, so there's a quite interesting thing going on here. So with the rewind, we can rewind to a certain point or also like a quick load, quick save. That is kind of weird. What a weird way of basically and I just started somewhere else. So what I can hear is like all the sound effects are here. I find it kind of funny that they added the rewind button, even that it doesn't work that great in my opinion. 
let's see let's press it again and here you can see like yeah it rewinds back to a certain point here you can see like we can choose it and then we can go back so it's, it's funny that they added this <laughs> cool but there was no quick load quick save hmm. all right robocop Rewind Robocop! Yeah! So when you're getting the hang of it, it seems working. No, I got it! Let's rewind. Oh god, let's ride again. Oh yeah! But okay, so that's the case with 8-bit stuff. So let's go to the 16-bit stuff. Okay, first we're going to try out some Street of Rage 2. Okay, I already say that this is not like should be. So even this freaking horrible cheap feeling D-pad, it seems to be playing just fine. Oh man, it runs really choppy. It runs really bad. I personally don't get it. Like some of these sticks are pretty damn good. Okay, can we rewind? All oh, right, so the rewind button doesn't even work for the freaking Sega. Oh man. But again, like the D-pad is very nice. Oof. That at a certain point that basically they get stuck, but... So yeah, when you're looking at the quality of the gameplay, it's pretty damn horrible. Let's try another one. A great game to try out is, of course, Sonic 3. I don't know what kind of... I think it's gonna weird language. What the hell? I don't know if the camera picks it up, but you can see like the image is really choppy. You can even see some weird screen tearing going on. It's playable. Let's put it that way. But also, rewind button doesn't do anything. Despite it sounds kind of weird, it's like it is not super bad. Like. I see my share of shitty emulation, but it's not like the most horrible one I've ever seen. You can see this weird blue like effect on the screen going on. Wow, absolutely garbage. What a disappointment. Okay, so I just need to be honest, like I've never seen such a weird thing. I do like the way that you can just Azure games, but let's be honest, like 8-bit is not that interesting. And when it comes to the 16-bit stuff, it runs like shit. So why should you even like try to add games? Yeah. Oh boy, these things are like so much fun to basically rip. Rip and tear. Take consideration like they are just old school dongles they are using for this. And this will not be a ex different example, so these things are getting really hot. Alright, so let's see, 2021, so this thing has been reproduced or it has been a completely new product. I do like the form factor of this PCB. Ah, there we have the Monkey King, the Monkey King 3B. So basically what I understand of with my previous videos and the comments that people dropped on here is like the Monkey King is a very old one. It was also like a rebranded nowadays, but they use it back in the day a lot. And it's quite interesting to still see this old school chip with the old name over here. And they didn't even try to put like a tiny passive cooling on it, simply that it is not needed. But again, like the form factor of this PCB is kind of interesting. So let's see what that says over here. The TS Core 1.0 version 1, the date when it basically was made, but nothing else. So yeah, that's basically what we're going to get in the inside and it's not very interesting. All right, so let's do a quick teardown of the controller. And I must say like it does play okay, and but it does feel really cheap. So what we're going to get over here is the PCB, including the back plate. So everything has been connected over here to the freaking PCB. Here you can see like the soldering of the minus and plus for the voltage. We do get the same way that we've seen with the old school controllers with the membranes. They're using quite okay membranes over here, not the translucent crap that we've seen before. Okay, so it's the same technique like we've seen with some of the older controllers. So here we don't see something very interesting. Yeah, this is something brand new made. You can see it over here. The production date over here. This is even version 6.0. And here it says, I think it's player 2. So that's basically the one I've teared down. This has been indicated of player 1 or player 2. Seems to be 
you would have like the antenna mm, so there's nothing much to see but it's quite interesting when it comes to the way how this thing has been made Okay, so with these Chinese products, you never know what to get. They put everything on the box to try to sell this scrap, or better said, these crappy products, because there are a lot of things out there. Some of them are pretty damn cool, but this one, absolutely piece of garbage. 8-bit, 16-bit, yeah, my ass. It's absolutely like a piece of shit, this. Like, the, why should you like use a car remote case for a dongle? Yeah, that makes no sense. Absolutely no sense at all. The controllers, they are okay. Like they play nice, especially when it comes to the D-pad. I really love these floating D-pads. If they were like better quality, it would even have a better experience. But overall, like the emulation is pretty damn shitty. So when it comes to the box, yeah, with the high quality, I really knew it when they basically showed it here. So that is something of a freaking joke. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of this. I would say like, avoid, avoid if you can, because this is not something you want to have. This is not experience. I think people will buy it for collectible reasons, but beside that point, don't see the point of it. But thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become the Wicked Family. And it would be great to see you mm. in the next video.